Chase back at it again, Chris and Cream. Hang on, I'm, oh shit, I forgot my glasses. Hang on. Can I get my glasses? One second. I've got to answer it. I've got to answer it. Can I get the glasses? You, you, I'm here. So, said, Grim, Frost, how's it going? Doing a bit of streaming today. We're going to be bumping around with a couple of games that just came out. My Little Pony gambling it. It's pretty close. You know what? I'll, I'll be honest with you. Like, it's, it's going to sound really weird. Last night's direct that came out that was just like the pun of it was that it came out and it was direct, which I found very interesting because they just sort of like released it. They didn't, you know. And what I found really funny was um, it's probably the most that I've been like, oh, yeah, it's some good shit. Like, I was like, oh, Monkey Ball, Penny's Big Breakaway, and Pocket Jockey looked really cute. Um, I this this was a shock. Penny's big breakaway. That's a real shock. I, I were they meant to release it that quick? The trailer only just came out like six months ago. That means that they've been they've been building this game in secret, and it's been finished a lot more longer than it should be. I don't know. Um, I've heard there's a couple bugs, but I don't know. Is that Dream Cutter? Um, ah, uh, yeah, it's a no name game. <laughs> It's a no-name game. We're going to try Pocket Jockey, though. We're going to do that first, and then we'll jump into Penny. Because I played some Pocket Jockey last night, and I actually had a lot of fun with it. Um, I really dug it. I really dug it. And by Game Freak, of course. So, you know it's going to be a bit of a banger. Um, so, if you don't know what Pocket Jockey is, uh, it's Solitaire. It's basically Solitaire. Um, it's really cute. It's really self-aware of itself as well. The no-name director with the sunglasses. Oh. So as it loads. So, Pocket Jockey. My, my horse is named Ham and Cheese because I was thinking about Ham and Cheese late at night. Um, I'm in the second bracket, I think. And I've got 93 coins. I should buy something. Let's see. Future goggles. What are these? These are future goggles. Working on the street is you can show the top card of your stock. Nah. What are reset gloves? Ever just think things through than these puppies a few? Okay. You know what? I'm going to do like a... I'm going to raw dog it. What's another name for Joe? <laughs> I, I'll be honest with you, this is a really cute game. I, I was playing this last night in bed. Um, I haven't had much time for gaming lately, like off stream. And for the price though, it was a bit more expensive than I thought. It was like, it was around, I think like Penny's Big Breakaway was like 40 bucks and this was like 29. Um, and again, I normally wouldn't like, I guess this was a DS game to start with and they've like ported it and high res this for... Um, switch because I think that's what it is. It was originally a um, a DS port. This is a video game, isn't it? Yes. Uh, Jack, Queen, King, exclamation point. So all it is is solitaire with cute horses and shit, and um, the characters are quite funny. 
So as you can see in the bottom right, there's like a... Oh, you might not be able to see it because it's behind my avatar, but there's a little track and then the cards will come up. And so you basically get dealt and then you've got to play. So um, let's do 10, 9, let's do 10, Jack, Queen, Jack, um, and then we'll deal four, um, let's do five, six, get five, three, two, three, four, five, um, seven, ten, nine, ten, um, Queen, uh, King, Ace, two, three, two, four, seven, seven, six, seven, six, seven, eight, um, nine, ten, Queen, uh, King, Ace, two, uh, eight. Oh, seems that jockeys are enjoying a nice game of solitaire in the middle of the race. They are, yeah. <laughs> Jack, uh, queen, king, ace, and then maybe eight. Okay, and so the rest of the cards that you don't get converted into more like anger. So, as you can see here, it gets quite cute. Put a oh left oh in your pocket. Okay, I get you. I get you. Um, we want to go. So my average pace. Let, let's go hard. Let's let's go into the hard lane. Because I also want to get these four shoes while I'm at it. If I can sneak into this lane. So what you got to do now is you get a chance to pick where your horse goes for the next set. Um, and we can obviously, we can bump up its car. I know it seems confusing. Um, there is an element of strategy to this that you've got to kind of strategize a little bit by stacking and picking up cards as you go around the track. Um, it's so cute though. It's really cute. I think it's the chubby horses that really got me. That made me go, oh, it's cute. Um, oh shit. Uh, eight, seven, eight, seven. Okay, here we go. So we got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, three, uh, two. Get Ace, King, Queen, Jack, Ten, um, and then we don't have a. Oh, you got a Jack, and then we got a Ten, and then we have to go back. So we got a Nine. Nope. We got an Eight. No. Oh, yeah, we got Seven, Six, Queen, uh, Queen, King, Eight. Three, two, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, king, ace, two, five, oh shit, should I go six? Oh yeah, six, seven, king, Ace, seven, four, three, queen, king, ace, two, nine, oh, 
10. Nine. Oh, four. And then five and then six. Okay, not too bad. Took me a bit of time, but I got around it. So there's, as you can see, there's a little timer at the bottom and you gotta kinda like make sure that your horse, um, you know, you gotta get it all done within the time limit. But we're doing good on power now so I can like convert this to some comfort zone. Let's convert that to comfort zone. There we go. Um, and so now we're coming into the stretch. So I want to kind of like... I'll go into normal. So now I get to pick a normal deck. So I'm going to slide in normal in front of 12 here and see what happens. <laughs> Stretch your cheeks. Oh my god. Um, ace. Two, three. Um, two. Ace. Two. Three, four. Ten. Queen. Jack. Queen. Jack. Ten. Nine. Ten, nine. Six. Six. Seven. Oh yeah, eight. Seven. Nope. King. Nope. Queen. Oh, Jack. Jack. Oh, 10. And then Jack. Queen. King. Ace. 4. 5. 4. 6. 7. 6. Nine, eight. Five, two, five, two, three, two. Ace, king. Nine, eight, clear. And there you go, if you clear it, you get a perfect. So you can basically stack them in any order. It's just gonna be higher, lower in the suit. And then there are other special cards too, like jokers are basically in any card that you can use. So we're doing pretty good for this stretch. So I should be able to like, I should be able to burn a bit of rubber and go this way. I reckon I sh should. I go on the inside? I reckon I should go on the inside. No, nah, I'm doing pretty good. Fast pace, man. Yeah, let's do it. Now the track's on fire. Just a little bit. It's all the chubby horses, dude. Let's see how long this one lasts. This is final turn. And now we power up. Enthusiasm is at 59. Nice. And now this is where the final, the final part of the race begins. And so you've got to kind of line it up and you've got to kind of um, whip into lead. So we've got to sneak down. It's gonna be second, it's gonna be second. Oh! We got a second. That's not too bad, three out of four. You almost have first place, let's figure out what went wrong. This time your horse didn't have enough energy. The more energy, the faster you can run. Yeah, so we ran out of energy in that end bit. I think I should have pulled back a little bit. The giddy air button. I forgot the name of this guy. He's really funny though, this little dude here. Time to <laughs> turn him into glue. Nah, we level him up.
Look at he's cute. He's three. He's three year old. If you're observant, you can catch what's drawn on each of the start cards. Concentrate. Okay. You obtained 35 coins in the winnings from the Fairyland Cup. Too bad. What a letdown. Oh, I named the girl Sylvie, by the way. No time to fret. Let's enter him in the Spring Day Cup next. If we place in the top three there, we'll be able to enter the famed Scepter Cup after that. Sounds like a plan. We're taking ham and cheese to the Spring Day Cup next. Place well and we can enter the G1 race next. Now do your best out there. You know it. Crossover. <laughs> hey, Chirp. Hello, happy horses at your service. Great to see you. I've got lots of new stuff lined up in my shop today. Super duper. Please stop by if you get the chance. Horse and racing. Yeah, well, I just thought she was cute and she had the same sort of like... Like, as I started the game, she had the same sort of, like, attitude. And she was very goofy and jokey and stuff. I never really thought about the racing part. Alright, so we're going to go visit Happy Horses. Because it might be a good item. So let's go have a look. So we've got... I kind of want to see... So this dash cup. Grab one of these to make the starting gate a breeze. Let's do that. Let's do it. And... Yeah, let's do that. Still, it needs still be riding a horse. I will say next uh, April 1st, you will get that wish. Um, so I guess we're going giddy up, son. Now, before anyone asks if you re if I recommend this game, I would actually. I've been finding it very casual. Um, it's it's really cute. It's a really cute game. I I'm I'm really like it. It's very casual, even though it's really high speed. <laughs> Thank you. Low poly horse, yeah. Okay, so... Oh, cool. They just give me, like, a really good gate. Shit, man. Alright. Alright. Heading in. A bit of a stamina monster. Go ham and cheese, you horse. The Japanese love their horse games, don't they? They love gambling. Like, I mean, we, we knew Japan was into gambling. They love their horse games, eh? Alright, start. Alright, so, oh, here we go. So we got two, three, uh, four, five, we got six. Uh, we got, uh, shit, we got five, um, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Jack, Queen, Jack, Queen, uh, King, Ace, two, three, four, five, uh, six, five, um, shit, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Jack, Ten. Uh, queen, king, ace. Two, three, four. And I just need a jack or a nine. Come on. Where you at? There we go. Ham and cheese for the win. You know it. Racing on a horse. Why I feel like shouting a specific phrase. <laughs> Frank Reynolds made it clear that the the Asians love to gamble. That's very true. He did, didn't he? I did forget about that. Yeah. So we want to. So the comfort zone. I kind of want to pull downward. I don't want to waste too much energy, but I want to. No, because there is an item coming up that I might need. So I might pull forward a little bit. So let's do that. Let's see if we can grab this. Got it. We're going to have to build up some serious energy in this next round though. Oh yeah. Rolling horse! <laughs> Alright. So, two rounds left. What do we got, son? Ooh. 
Uh, ace two, two, c nine, jack. Oh shit, it's not really a good hand, is it? Um, ace two, three, four, uh, five, four, five, ace. Oh, two, three, queen, jack, uh, ten, ten, nine, ten, uh, jack, queen, jack, six, seven, eight, seven, queen, uh, oh god, six, seven, king, uh, ace, two, four, eight, oh, nine, ten, queen, king, ace, two, Eight, six, ten, nine, eight. Oh shit, this isn't looking good. Oh. Six, five, six, five, four. Swallowed a mouthful of coffee grounds. Why would you do that? Pocket Jockey's your favorite? I'm really enjoying this game. It's really good. I'm sure that's a family-friendly game. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this game. I've been, like, really digging it. It's, it's, it's really fun. I've really just... Like, honestly, like, it's really cute. It doesn't feel stressful. Even though it feels like it should be a stressful game. It's very cute. I've never played this before. This is my first time. I assume the first game was on the 3DS. Um, uh, yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with it. Um, oh, shit. Ace. Ace to ace. Oh, did I already stuff it? Yeah, I did. Two, seven. Uh, six. Queen, eight, seven, four, two, queen. This is a shit hand. Three, two, three, four, five, four, five. Two, ace, uh, king, queen, king, ten, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, four, three, jack, six, five, Eight, nine, ten. Give me a ten. Oh, give me a uh, five. Shit. Queen. Come on, give me a queen. I just need a queen. Sweet. That was good. <laughs> Take that. Or a nice. Alright, we're entering the final stretch, boys! We're on average pace. We're in a good resting zone. So maybe... A 
I'm thinking... I'm thinking we... Thank you for the follow. Um, I'm thinking outside the gate. Let's go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that power. He let me use a fire stone. Oh no, horse is on fire. We're entering that stretch now. And it zoomed through. It did like a tackle. Amazing. Oh, another trophy for the cabinet. Let's so we'll reward him later. Oh shit, that was a good horseshoe. Look at that. Ham and cheese went from E to D. Like no brand. Try visiting the mount screen and pick a new one. It was, yeah, it was like a blue flame. You obtained 69 coins from Spring Day Cup. Wasn't that something? You did it, Sylvie. Did I ever? Now I'll be able to enter the Scepter Cup. If you place well in that, it's up to the Royal Derby. Yeehaw! Ham and Cheese's next race, the Scepter Cup. It's G1, so do your best. You can count on me. The ranking is fitting. <laughs> What'd you do with bread? Man. Getting up there now. It'll be a tough one. Better give it all you got. Okay. 194 coins. So we still... So I assume... Um, I assume there's no other mounts available. Activate super... Oh, so this is like young... Let... Let's raise your first horse, win 10 times. Okay. Alright. We'll do a couple more games of this, and then we'll move on to Penny. But I just kind of wanted to show you guys, like, how even something as simple as this just seems to be really fun. There's a really good strategy to it, too, where you can just sort of bluff your way through a deck of cards by using a, a card that you shouldn't really use. Um, yeah, it's quite interesting. The, the, I was speaking to someone last night about the way this game was kind of built. It's very interesting. I felt that in myself. <gasps> um, okay, so ace, uh, five, three, four, five. We'll do that. Level one. Let's do it. This is an easy one. Around that first bend, baby. Take your bets, chat. Will Sylvie end up taking first? We're in a really good position right now. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Alright, so, um, let's see. Um, ace, so five, six. Eight, seven, three, seven, three, ace, queen, ace, two, so five, six, five, and then deal cards, so we've got two, and then we got, um, so we should probably do ace there, and then four, five, six, jack, queen, Seven. So 
three, two, three, four, eight, king, aces, two, aces, uh, nine, uh, Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, nine, jack, queen, king, queen, jack, ten, ten, king, three, four, three. Six, five, two, and Jack. Hey crap, gonna have to leave. Have a great stream. No, that's all good. I hope you have a good night. My money's on the horse, not Sylvie. She's got that Shea Lou cut under the hood revenue. <laughs> oh. Alright, so we're kind of in the fire zone here. So we want to kind of like... I want to kind of move... We'll move back here. So this is good. this is perfect. See what cards we pick up along the way. Fuck yes. And the horse is cute though. Like this whole game's fucking cute. I really love it. Um, okay, so. So sorry that like I keep saying the numbers, but I have to say it out loud sometimes. Ten. Uh, see, ten. Nine. I was gonna take a bluff on that one. Nine. Ten. Jack. Seven. Six. Seven. This is a hard deck. This one. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Jack. Eight. Queen. Oh, king. King. Four. Uh, three, four, five. Six. Five, six, seven, eight, ten, jack, three, two, three, two, eight, six, queen, King Aces two Aces King five six seven nine Alright, so only one, only one. Alright, that's okay. My money's still on me. <laughs> I've got the boost as well, so we can go inside track now. So if we like if we go inside track for a bit of a rest. We might be able to obtain some last minute cooling for Sylvie and also make it an easy deck as well. So we'll do that. We'll just chill in this the in zone. I wanted the boost, so that's kind of what I was aiming for. Okay. So this final deck should be a little bit easier. Okay, so, um, uh, Queen King, uh, three, nine, <sighs> three, four, six, three, four, ace, 
Man, this is not an easy deck. Nine. Two. Queen, King, Ace, two, three, Jack, Queen, Jack, three, Jack, ten, nine, eight. I'll take that, that's fine. That was good. Come on, ham and cheese. Get around that corner. Final turn. We're in the chill zone. So... Do I want to exert my power to go further up the pack? Probably, let's do it. horse time enthusiasm is 51 I don't know if we're gonna do this one I do have the boost though so I might be able to make it happen where am I in the pack there that boost baby let's go Second. <sighs> Didn't start off whatsoever. When start solitaire, your horse can struggle to position itself, take as much time to leave the gate, and you end up losing stamina to boost. Nah, I did that. I did that. Fuck off. What are you talking about? I did that. I had the I had the thing. I got the top twelve though, which is good. That's experience. What's his ability? He's got an ability here. Increases unity power when positioned with a rival horse. Okay. You were so close. Dag Nabbit. Where are you place we can enter the Royal Derby? Noise. The Royal Derby is the pinnacle of horse racing and one of the most prestigious G1 races. Your opponents will be a lot tougher than they've been so far, but I know you got a shot. Good luck. I'm ready to kick some tail. We're taking ham and cheese to the Royal Derby next. Give it all you got. All I've got and then some. Hey, Chirp. Hello, happy horses at your service. Great to see you. I've got lots of new stuff lined up in my shop today. Super duper. Please stop by if you get the chance. You betcha. Well, I'm not going to say no to some... Uh to some uh, free real estate. Guide goggles. Uh, they'll show you which card to take next. That'd be perfect, actually. Thank you. Um, Joker, Jockey Crop. Joker Crop. Gives you a joke in which you can connect to any card. Yes. 
quick gloves. What are these? They make your deck keep flipping until you get a card you could use. That's a cool... Okay, yeah. Thank you, Chirp. I think Chirp came in clutch just then, because I have some serious fucking items to take on the next, uh... Hold your horses! You can't. You guys can't see it, there's a loading thing in the corner that says hold your horses. I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling confident about this one. I've got a lot of power-ups too. Ocean Red. Who else is in this? Giddy Up Blue, Spectrum Rainbow, Top of the Tree. Parallel Parasol. Felix Wolf. Yeah, it is a long time. That is a very long time, dude. Time to zoom. Time to zoom indeed. Uh, mm, uh, Ace, King, start. That's a level three, baby! Uh, Gib. We're in the front of the pack, baby. Oh, we're slipping back. Time to play some good solitaire. Four rounds, shit, man. Jack. I like this. surprised we got this west wise so this game never released over here was it was this only in Japanese Jack DS, right? Super Unity! I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go to the center. Thank you. Thank you for the hydrate. Getting that inside. Let's go. Uh, what could we do? Ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. And let's still use the seven, and then get to the Joker to do a um, two, three, four, three, four, and then let's use the Joker again to do. Ten. King. Now nah, flip it. Queen. King. Nine. Uh, ten. 
seven, two, ace, joker, queen, jack, ten, seven, ten. Yeah, it was DS. Oh, I might have to get it then. Nine, eight. I, I'm really enjoying it. It's really fun. There's a bit of strategy to it. There's still a lot that I don't understand about it, but I was having a lot of fun playing this in bed last night, so... Is she the ninja horse? No. The one with the... There's there's one with the, um, a wizard hat on. I'm gonna try to go here. Is that gonna make me more stressed? Thinking. Mm. I'm thinking maybe. A no, I'm thinking of staying in the spot that I'm at. It's just a good spot to be in right now. Like staying on the inside. I am losing traction a little bit, but... Okay. Speed though. That's true, yeah. Queen. King. Two. The music's a banger, too. I just know that, like, staying on the inside lane is like, it's all about conserving your energy a little bit. Um, so you gotta kind of, like, stay on the inside, but then you've gotta risk it to get ahead a little bit, so. The gloves are helping because it's helping me see the cards a lot better. Jack. King. Ace. King. Queen. Three. Four. Eight. Five. Eight. Two. Three. There we go. I was a bit concerned that we weren't going to get out of Yeah, there's like a ninja horse. I see it now. There's a ninja horse. With a ninja jockey. I, I can't... You know what? There's another boost coming up. So I want to kind of... Right there. Nah, you know what? It needs to be up more because they're going to bump into it. So I need to be there. Let's go. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Grab it. Oh, I don't think I grabbed it. It's right there. Good time. Okay. God, that was such a shit hand. Seven. Ace, two, three. Oh my god. Queen. Four. 
At least the dealing thing's good, but man, it makes you feel a bit stressed. You might not have the right ones in the deck. This is it. The power. The final turn. Try that. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. I'm, I'm doing pretty good. Just playing that uh, pocket jockey. It's pretty fun. I'm really digging it. You got a new job offer? Nice. Let's get ahead of this wizard. Oh, he's coming up. Just hold, 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 hold. Go. Drive 40 minutes. Nice, man. Thank you for the hydrate, the post check too, by the way. We did it. We took the risk. And we got around it. You gotta make the horse come. Oh, yeah, bro. That's what it's all about. <laughs> we got the GI trophy. Look at that. Beautiful. Nice. Speed draw. What speed draw? I got another. I got another move. Yeah, they're very chubby. That's why I like them. They're really cute. Buh? Hi. Hey there, Mr. Angel. It's been a while. By the way, I won the Derby. It's all thanks to you. Hey, good for you. Alrighty, bye then. What? Hold up. Is that all I get? Can't you at least, like, muster up an emotional speech for me? Something like super moving that has the entire nation in tears. Wanna hear a real tearjerker? I was so sure you'd lose, I lost tons of scratching bet scratch bettings on the other horses. Yeah, that's not quite what I had in mind. Hey, right, since I won the derby, I won't get sent to heck, right? <laughs> what are you even talking about? Seriously, do you not remember how the first time we met, you said you'd to win... I had to win if I didn't want to... You know, suffer terminal dang nation because I've been working my tushy off to make sure this doesn't happen again. Oh, holy smokes. No, no, no. That was a joke, kid. Don't you know a joke when you hear one? Nobody's getting sent anywhere. Wow, the future seems so much brighter now that I don't have fire and leaky faucets to worry about. Well, don't get ahead of yourself. you got the rest of your life to do something nasty and you'll land in the bad place for good. Yeah, it seems fair. Can't complain. <laughs> Out of curiosity, though, how nasty are we talking? Depends on people's viewpoints and what era you happen to be in. <laughs> what would be in my case? Well, littering, I guess. Littering? You don't think that's kind of harsh? I mean, even though we all agree it's a bit of a nasty habit. Another joke, kid. Sheesh, you really are bad at these. Anyway, I'm sure you'll be fine. You don't seem like someone who's capable of doing anything too outrageous. I never thought so either. Anywho, I guess I better be off. Do your best at the races, yeah? I'm betting on you big next time. Yes, Mr. Angel, sir. Adios. You obtained to... Whoa! Well done, Sylvie. With, with, with this, ham and cheese is now a king in his own time. <laughs> I did it. Yay. I'm looking forward to autumn, but first things first, seeing as how we got such a strong horse, let's give the Duchess Cup a shot. Are you kidding me? You'll be up against some of the best full-grown horses in the biz. Think of it as a learning experience. I sure will. We're talking ham and cheese. We're taking ham and cheese to the Duchess Cup next. Give it all you got. All I've got and then some. Yeah, Sylvie's dang to damnation for sure. 
You can now select this horse from the mount screen. Oh shit! Another horse! Let's take a look. <gasps> it's called Catnip Dasher. I'll ask you, chat. I'll wait for the ad break to be over. Alright chat, we're going to make an important decision. I don't need your help. We need to decide whether or not we're going to put ham and cheese out the pasture for a bit. Or if we're going to... Um, and, and pick a new horse for a while or what. <laughs> he's like a furry. Yeah, he's a little bit. Uh, Ten. Not nah, stuffed it. So this this is a little thing where you get a bonus if you do it perfectly each day. It's apparently just like a little item. Um. Chat. Do I want to keep going with ham and cheese to the Duchess Cup? Or do I want catnip dasher and try catnip dasher out? It looks like it actually has a cat on the back too. got the baddest stats that's true okay so we got d uh, 4 67 89 catnip dash is worse we could try it let's just try catnip dash up let's see oh yeah we get to rename it fuck yeah chat it's got a cat on it what are we gonna call this horse I need a really good horse name, like um, like when you go to the horse races. I want you to be very clever. <sighs> or quirky, clever or quirky. Furry pussy, that's not bad. Scratching post could be a good one. Turnip dream. That's pretty good. What about, um... Kitty Litter? What up, Fancy? Furry claws. What about, um... What about Liddy Bitter? <laughs> Liddy Bitter? 
It's just kitty litter, but with the letters swapped. That's pretty good too. Um, what about cat lateral damage? Oh, do you like that? You think that's funny, Liddy Bitter? Have I played it yet? Nah, it's next tonight though. We're playing uh, Pocket Jockey first. If it's the letter swapped, yeah. Yeah, Liddy Bitter. Oh no, it would be, yeah. Liddy Kidder, yeah. You're correct. You're you're correct. Liddy Kidder. Liddy Kidder, yeah. You're correct. Sorry, it's been a long day for me. No, I've not played Penny's Big Breakaway. I'm going to play it tonight, though. Because there was only three games that... Um, I don't know where I got the B. You actually refunded it? Holy shit, really? That's come from fan... That's come from fancy uh, middle name... 3D platformer flying. Holy shit. I felt that way about Marble Maiden, to be honest with you. <laughs> Good job, you know. Oh, thank you. Liddy Kidder. Wow, you refunded it. I did hear there were a lot of bugs. Okay, a Liddy Kidder. Don't that about Marble, yeah. Marble made, more like marble lame, am I right? Who's this? Who's this? What's going on here? How do I date you? <laughs> I do not like how it controls at all. No sir, I don't like it. Okay, well I will I will be the judge of that in the next I'll say the next forty minutes or so I'll give it a go. Because it is I, I, I'll be honest with you, um, and I said it, um, I'll, I'll say it last, uh, I watched the Nintendo Direct, which was more like a Nintendo upload. I only really enjoyed three things, which was Monkey Ball, but the only thing I got from Monkey Ball is they're doing multiplayer like they're doing with every other Nintendo game, so it's like mass online, so it's just gonna be a mess. Um, but new levels, so I was kind of excited. Um, this game, Pocket Jockey, which was hell cute, and Penny's Big Breakaway, but I was surprised that they launched that so quick, and it kind of scared me a little bit, because I was like, is this game not ready? Like, is this game ready to go? Like, apparently it is, though. So we're taking, um... Liddy Kidder into the newcomer. This is going to be a tough one though because Liddy is not in the speed. It's che it's, it's it's dollar store cherry. Um, shit. Two, three, ace. Eyes look at the new monkey ball. Yeah, I kind of like the new look that they gave. I mean, this is the first new monkey ball we've got in how long? How long is it? Look at this little cat in the back! That's so cute! This is cute as fuck! Alright, uh. Okay, so two. Three. Two, ace. Two, three, over 12 years, wow. I'll be honest with you, I've not played all of them. I think there's only one I don't own, um, which is the first one on GameCube, but I've got the remake, so. 10, jack, queen, king, jack. Ten, six, five, six, seven, eight, uh, seven, six, 
seven, eight, seven, ace, nine, ten, nine. Nine, four, three, four, five, six, five. We got two jockeys on one horse. It's cheating, basically. My bench is the only one I don't like. I heard a lot of bad things about that game. Is that game really that bad? Because I got that recently at like a, a flea market, and like I'm kind of scared to play it. Yeah, I think I've got all of them except the first one, but I know that one was a remake one, which we did stream one of them. I preferably like the first and the second one, though, out of all of them on the GameCube. We're going to go... Oh, you know what? Let's get in front. Let's get in front. Let's just do it. Right off the bat. Liddy Kidder, go, son! Stacking them cards up. Look at the little cat on the back. That has made my fucking day, that cute little cat on the back. Liddy Kidder. This is peak hours. Peak puss, boys. Um, queen. King. Queen. King. Ace, two, ace, five, six, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, five, nine, eight, seven, two, three, Two, three, four. Jack, ten. Jack. DS ones are cute. Yeah, they are, yeah. This is true pussy power. I also really like the monkey ball that came in the Sega um, iToy game. Sega, what was it called? Sega, Sega All Stars? I really love that as a lot. That was one of my favorites, um, purely because of the um, the ability to control it with a camera. I know that sounds really dorky, but I played the shit out of that as a kid. Like I played the the Sonic Sega. I think it's called Sonic Sega All Stars. I played the shit out of that. I thought it was so cool that they had a camera game on the PS2. Y'all, Enthusiasm 77, that's me every day, bro. Little cat go. Oh, look at the cat! Come on, son! Oh, bro. Not even having to whip. Liddy Kidder. We'll do one. Just because I'm getting a bit worried of that, that lead in. Liddy Kidder. Nice. Nice. I love it. I love it. Increases energy when positioned just behind a rival horse. Nice. Okay. You obtain 18 coins. Hey, Sylvie, you won the debut race. Yay. Oh, hello there, Priscilla. Squee, you're Sylvie, right? Thank you so, so, so much. Sure thing, uh, miss. You chowed ahead. Priscilla is the owner of Liddy Kidder. Priscilla's son, buddy. 
a worldwide pop sensation always looking for something to bring her even more fame. Priscilla is a celebrity of many talents, anime lover, historian, semi-pro gamer, chef, and more. Becoming a horse owner is another one of her public publicity stunts. Thanks to you, Liddy Kidder won their debut race. Take care of Liddy Kidder, okay? I'm counting on you. That was Priscilla's son buddy. She owns Liddy Kidder. I think I've seen her on TV. A lot, actually. I'm sure you have. She's a famous pop star. <laughs> she used her success to become a racehorse owner. Think she'd be willing to give me an autograph? Seems like Liddy Kidder's owner is thrilled about their win. Darn tootin'. The next race is a graded one. You'll be up against much tougher opponents, so do your best. <laughs> is she We don't know. We do not know. We're almost at the gate. We might as well do this whole set as well. Because uh, I'm really having... Do you guys mind if I play a bit more of this? I'm having a lot of fun with it. Race a horse up through retirement to unlock the farm. Wow, okay. I'm just... I'm really digging this game at the moment. Like, it's just fun. I don't know why it's fun. I'm still trying to work that bit out. <laughs> Some wonder, screw breaker, pink coupon, delicious trot, mock it ponster. <laughs> Finish up my creation, nice. All right, we're gonna bust into. Uh, Four, three, four, three, five, two, four. Yeah, I'll do that one. It's gonna be a bit of a hard. Oh, tart! Ham and cheese is just taking a couple days off. It's all good. So what we got? Uh, 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 uh. This is a shit one. Yeah, it's already shit. Fuck. Can I ask a question to chat, by the way? Um, is, is anybody, like... Is anybody still enjoying the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Like, general question. Like, uh, like real legit. people stop caring because I've noticed like it's like really dipped off I started watching Loki season 2 tonight and I was like okay this is not too bad uh you know are you like are people dipping off the Marvel Cinematic Universe ok 
Because I felt like the last good one was the Spider-Man one with the different universes, like, with Doc Ock and shit like that. And that one was really fun. I really enjoyed it. But anything after that has just been so boring. I couldn't get into, like... Is it called the Immortals or whatever the shit was? Um... Yeah. And then, like, I started watching Loki tonight. Um, and like, I was like, eh, it's not bad. Like, it's a bit, it's a bit better than what I thought it was going to be. Like, I won't spoil it for anybody that wants to watch it, but like. Etern yeah, Eternals. Yeah, 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 yeah. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Jack, Queen. What, what was censored that Fancy just said? Nine... Ten... Nah, that movie bored the fuck out of me. Oh, okay. Yeah, the Eternals bored the shit out of me. I like the Shang-Chi movie or whatever it was, but I, now it just feels like there's no real stake in actually like really caring about the whole thing. I don't know. Like, I just don't feel a general stake in, in the whole thing. Do you know what I mean? Needs more sex. Yeah, they need me to get in there. That's what they need to do. No, I don't know. I just, like, there's just a huge part of me that's just not really, like, digging what's happening. I'm enjoying the Loki shit, but that's about it. All the other TV shows can get fucked. I really don't care. This one's gonna be hard. Yeah, you, the Spider-Man with all the Doc Ock shit. Yeah, that shit was good. That was the last one. Anything else after that has been so boring. I've just not cared at all about it. I've had no, like, investment. And then it's like, i got to watch fucking Moon Knight and all this other shit. And it's like, dude, i got to fucking jerk off. I have no fucking time to watch all this shit. There's so much shit now. I didn't mind it when it was like a movie, a movie, a movie. But, like... Holy fuck, it's like a movie, then five TV series, and then fucking three movies? Yeah, it's more rolling horse. It's film fatigue. People are checking out. Yeah, and there's just no general stake. Like, it just feels like it's all gone. Yeah, I just, I really don't have any investment in it. Um, the only thing that interests me is Loki season two. I started watching that and I was like, yeah, this is interesting. Like, I can watch this. I tried watching Moon Knight. I tried watching Miss Marvel. I, I, I did like um, Hawkeye. I watched that. I watched The Winter Soldier, but I like the TV show, but I was like, eh. And now they're shoving fucking. What's that other one? Down our throats, the one about the chick from Hawkeye, and it's got the kingpin dude in it. Um, yeah, and I haven't even watched She Hulk. I don't have any, like, got Hulk. Yeah, they did, yeah. And then, what was the other one I was thinking of? Oh, and now they're doing, like, this whole Madam Web thing, and, like, that Madam Web thing looks so fucking terrible, man. I know it's not, like, meant to be direct. 
but you can tell that like Sony really wants to keep the IP so they have to make like like a fucking they have to make a Spider-Man movie every five years otherwise they lose the thing and it's so fucking terrible that I'm just like I just don't care anymore like I don't care the only thing I like from their side was Venom I actually like legitimately enjoyed the Venom movies <laughs> yeah, I actually like out of those movies, I would say like the other side, I enjoyed Venom a lot. And so like now I'm really concerned because I saw the trailer for Deadpool. And because obviously we're now connecting other universes and everything sort of linking together. I'm getting really fucking concerned because Deadpool's another one I really like. And I watched the trailer for the new Deadpool. And obviously, like, that shit is meant to connect up, but I'm start- I'm thinking, like, I'm thinking they're gonna fuck it, man. I think they're gonna fuck it up, son! I think they're gonna fuck it- I don't know, it's hard to tell. Maybe I I mean, I didn't mind Deadpool 2. I mean, Deadpool- you can't beat Deadpool 1. Then nothing can hold a candle to that. I think we could try for the G1. Cool. Yep, you'll be up against tough opponents, but it'll be a big chance for Liddy Kidder. Leave it to me. Liddy Kidder's next race is the Phillies Championship. You count on me. You guys gotta wait for the Shady Corner. Um, what would you call it? You wouldn't call it a cinematic universe. What would you call it? The Shady Corner universe. It would be a Shady Corner. It would. Would it be video? Interactive video universe? What would it be? The shady verse? Albatross! Get your albatross! Who we got here? Chrysanthemum, Silk Screen, Candle Bright, Red, Red Campion. Sticky Sticky Speed Honey Unself Fish We're pretty good Uh, I appreciate more if watch all the movie So after this race we will try out Penny's Big Breakaway Otherwise known as Penis's Big Break Penis Break in the Big Penis Can someone tell me is this game a port from the DS? If it is it's pretty good Oh, shit, man. Shit, man. Oh, shit. I'll go shit start. So this was a port of the 3DS game. Well, I, I'm, I'll say this much. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Because of just how dumb it is. It's dumb and it's fun. Alright, so we go like 9, 10, Jack. Eight, 7, 6, 5, Queen, King, Ace, King. Ace, two, three, two, three, four, five, uh, two, three, Jack, Queen, Jack, ten, Queen, King, six, five, six, seven, three, Ace. King. Ten. Uh, nine. Ten. So that clears that block. Oh, I could have done Jack. Shit. Eight. Seven. Eight. Seven. Six. That's right, I made up for it. Just finish your creation? Nice. Eight. Five. Nine. 
nine. Jack. Four. Fuck. It's all right. Still good. We'll take it. We're going to move into the inner. I'm not going to risk it. I don't want to... Alright, peak time, baby. Yeah, I heard Cassette Beats is really good. Is it really as good as they say? I thought so. You thought so too? I got Nexomon recently, which is not a very good name for a game, I'll be honest with you. Um, but seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, four, three, four, eight, nine, ten, two, king, queen, seven, six, seven. I think it's a good game, it's just not for you. So what didn't you like about it, Fancy? Was it just the controls? You got the game, it's great. Okay, because yeah, I saw Cassette... I was looking at other games that are like monster-related games, and somebody said that Cassette, cassette Beats is really good. We're going on the inside. We're getting that comfort zone up to 300, baby. Uh, soundtrack is tuned. Well, I would assume so with a name like Cassette Beat. You would assume that it would have a killer soundtrack. Let's play it safe. You stay on the inside, you play it safe. Let's go, son. The average pace, though, but enthusiasm is 88. Rub that horse. Let's go. That's it. Yes! Liddy Kidda was the most perfect. Did you see the pun? The cat pun? Abada debug. What the fuck is that? Gub, gubded, gubada. I don't understand the pun. Just not what you wanted. So like, is there a reason? Look, she's dressed as a cat. Oh, I'm gonna come. Ah! What's this? You can't do this to me, penny, fucking, p pocket horse. Holy shit. Phyllis. She's a filly. Love it. Success. Oh, now I'm scared about the controls, Fancy. Because, okay, you love Hat in Time. You love shit like Gex. You love stuff like Marble Maid. I can't understand what would be wrong with it. What about, um, what's that other game that's out at the moment? Rollin' Rascal. Have you tried the demo for Rollin' Rascal? Nicely done, Sylvie. That was some fine racing. Thanks. Well done, Sylvie. I cooked that race's goose good. With this, Liddy Kidder is officially a G1 horse. I aim for some more big wins once they turn three. Rolling Rascal felt great. Really? And there was that other game. What's that other game that's coming? 
um, is it next week? And it's the um, that other game, Cavern of Dreams or whatever it is, that low poly game. That's also coming. Um, it got it got announced. You finished age two. Let's gallop over the next life map. Wow. There's a tree. I love how you can just click on shit. So what is this? Open it by what? G1 winner by age 3. Oh, I see. So there's certain, like... There's certain things you have to do. So ham and cheese is also leveled up. So maybe, like, we should ride ham and cheese into this next one. Just try it, man. It's just a personal thing. You might love it. Alright. Well, we're going to try it in a second. Oh, I see. So, like, with this one, I have to, like... Oh, so with G1, I start back here because I've not done it with ham and cheese. So I have to, like, do it with this. Interesting. That's a really interesting way of doing it. I didn't, I thought you just would work your way through the ranks. Okay. Well, that's um That's Pocket Jockey. Um would I recommend it? Yes. I've I've had a lot of fun with Pocket Jockey. Um the next one we are going to try is Penny's Big breakaway and I'm a bit nervous now I was more nervous about the bugs though I'll be honest with you um, let me just change this let me just change the ticker real quick is it penny shit now chat what are you going to be playing tomorrow because there's only 